set thy people free from our fears and sins really. Good day viewers. On this day we are almost at Christmas and our wait for the great celebrations is almost over. And today is the last day of the season of Advent, the time which the church has especially provided for us all to prepare ourselves for the coming Christmas. Now, let us then ask ourselves if truly we are ready to welcome the Lord and rejoice with Him in this Christmas. Have our Advent activities been fruitful? Brothers and sisters in Christ, have we made good use of the time provided for us to have a profound change and preparation in our hearts and minds, in the way of life and in our predisposition to be able to celebrate Christmas worthily with true joy and with the right focus and intentions? Are we still celebrating Christmas in the wrong way by forgetting about the one whom we ought to be celebrating about? As we recall the scriptures readings, we should inspect ourselves and see how we have progressed through this Advent and in our own journey of faith. Our first reading, which was taken from the book of the prophet Samuel, told us about the conversation between King David and his advisor, the prophet Nathan, about his desire to build a great house for the Lord, the idea which would eventually become the great temple of Jerusalem. However, God had a different plan and told King David that it was not his will that the house would be built by him or during his reign as king. As instead, it will be his son, the future king, Solomon, who will be the one to build the great house for God. Nonetheless, if you read through the other parts of the history, it was King David who laid much of the foundations of the effort, preparing much goods and materials necessary for the foundation of the temple. In this reading alone, there are a few things that we should take note of carefully. First, God spoke to King David that it will be his son who would build the temple of God and how God will make the reign of David's son secure. God was in fact speaking not just of the literal son of David, that is Solomon, but also foreshadowing the one who would be the fulfillment of all God's many promises, that is Christ, to be as heir and son of David who will be the one to build the eternal dwelling of God among his people. And how did that happen, brothers and sisters in Christ? It was by his incarnation in the flesh that the divine word and the Son of God enter into this world and born as the Son of Man through Mary, his mother. Through this singular act, God becoming one of us, he has dwelled in our midst and built his house forever, the foundation on which in his own beloved son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. In our gospel today, we have heard of the father of John, St. John the Baptist, Zechariah, who was so filled with the Holy Spirit that he sang with a great joy, blessing and thanking God for all that he has done for his people. Not just that he has blessed him with a son, but even more so that because of that son he had, through his, the works that the Son would accomplish in proclaiming the coming of the Messiah, the world would be called towards God's salvation and love. Now, brothers and sisters in Christ, is this the same kind of joy that we have and which we are preparing for this upcoming Christmas? Or is our joy instead one that is empty and self-centered and not centered and focused on Christ? Because Christmas is just tomorrow, let us ask ourselves and indeed remind ourselves what is the true meaning and joy of Christmas to all of us. We should be joyous as Zachariah had been, with the right intention in heart and mind. And just as I mentioned earlier, how King David prepared lots of things and materials to build the house of God, let us also prepare ourselves to have a wonderful and most meaningful Christmas celebration not in the festivities and merrymaking, but rather by putting Christ at the very center and heart of our celebrations, remembering God's great love for us that made Christmas possible in the first place. Let us share the joy and love of God in Christmas with everyone, 
and let us bear witness to Christ by doing our best to live as witnesses to Christ and to live as we should be living as Christians, filled with God's love and generously sharing this love with one another. And may God be with us always, and may he bless our Christmas celebrations beginning tomorrow. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Thank you, and God bless.